bitch, you fucking do. <laughs> My father wasn't exactly a good man. <laughs> but he loved his job. And for about 25 years, he, um, yeah, he drove over every street in San, in San Francisco's 7x7 seven seven area. And I don't remember what bus lines they all were, but I remember he drove the 14 Mission. Wow. Um, I get credit just for saying it all. Um, the 52 Excelsior. And the 44 O'Shaughnessy. Yeah, you heard of it, you have to take it. Um, and as a kid, I actually got to ride all of these buses. Um, except for the 24, because it went to the Castro. <laughs> He'd make these stupid jokes about how San Francisco was like a bowl of cereal, and you know the rest of that joke. I should be another. Um, and I'd ask him, why can't we go to the Castro? Because you just don't want to go there. <laughs> Something weird and ironic about a heterosexual guy telling me, don't go there. Um, but, uh, yeah. I, interestingly, um, 30 years later, I'm like completely out of the closet and comfortable. And I'm actually heeding his advice. I don't know why, but that's the truth. Um, anyway, I remember how he, how proud he was of me because I knew every bus line. I knew how to get around San Francisco, and um, and I was he was cultivating his non-driver. For the record, I've never ever driven a car. Um, uh, much to my chagrin, sometimes and sometimes when people clap like that, it makes me feel really good about myself. Um, but I asked my father, what if I want to drive? But well, there are places in San Francisco he doesn't even touch. Then your brothers will drive you. <laughs> but what if they're not around? Then I will drive you. <laughs> but what if you're not around? So, uh, after the divorce, I actually never saw my father again until he popped up on the local news for having hit an old man with his beauty bus and dragged him over a block and ripped the guy's arm off. And, um, so for those of you guys who are going to search for this later on on Google, his name is Rogelio Mendoza. R-O-G-E-L-I-O. I'm not going to get into the story. I'm not going to go there. Um, but anyway, that whole experience of seeing my father on the news and hating him and hating what he did and hating him in general and him driving me he's kind of encapsulated how I feel about San Francisco and coming back, being this is my hometown, this is where I'm born, and I just wanted to go away. It's a strange thing to go through. So, uh, about two years ago, I wrote and directed this movie musical called Fruit Fly. Woo! And, um, oh, there's two. Woo! Oh, thank you. And it's this, it's this piece that I wrote that's sort of about identity and finding your family and finding a home. And the opening number actually sounds a little something like this. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm being a bit Quasimodo about this. Here we go. Did you guys hear this? Here we go. As far as cities like this go, there are none like San Francisco. You can take it all apart by section, seven miles in any direction. I'll never be stuck in gridlock. I'm fine with walking on the sidewalk. If you need to get somewhere faster, sing along with the working class bastards, public transit. Every destination fits upon a track. Put your faith in public transit. There's enough of it to go around and back. And if you're stuck between two roads, Good thing that the city has two modes. Just enter to the rat transit fast lane. But you can't use your transfer on the bar train. No problem, just buy yourself a bar pass. So the ticket vendor you can bypass. But the coverage is really puny. And you can't use your pass on Muni. Public transit. 
when your tip is slowing down to just a crawl. All you need is public transit. Is there any need to have a car at all? Uh, so this is the part of the movie where a bunch of people are sitting on the F line really pissed off. Because there's a stalled train at Castro Station. And they, of course, have to sing their lament. Everything has to be in song. And they look into the camera and they say this. Everything. Let's try it again. Everybody know that if you take a mode of public transportation, you've got what it takes. Because San Francisco's like the bowl of cereal. When you get rid of the nuts and fruits, all you got is flakes. All you got is flakes. Your fruits and your nuts. Back door!